Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Casey Chains and I review games here on my channel. So no doubt you guys are excited for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War as am I. So today we get the alpha on the PlayStation and I'm here to show you off a little bit about it and talk about it and give you guys a solid review for it. If this is the first time coming to my channel be sure to smash that like button on this video and subscribe for more Call of Duty content. Now, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War does release November 13th of this year for the current generation consoles and the brand new exciting next gen. So first off the bat, the recording you're seeing right now is captured straight from my PlayStation Slim console, straight from the capture card inside of the PlayStation. Now, you guys can judge for graphics, but for me personally, I believe the graphics are pretty solid. I do have motion blur turned off, so it's not to obscure any of the frame rate quality, but there is definitely, definitely some great value here in the graphics to me personally. The systematic balance that Treyarch has done between natural realism and arcadey style shooter that Call of Duty is known for is completely balanced very, very well. The details are crisp, the gun models are fantastic, the character models act like an actual Call of Duty game this time around. Modern Warfare did emphasize on this a little bit, but it seems that Treyarch has really nailed down the Call of Duty formula, as I felt like I was playing an actual solid Call of Duty game this time, unlike Modern Warfare. Now this match you are seeing right here is kill confirmed on Moscow map, which is a brand new map from Treyarch. All of these maps we get to see are brand new inside of the Alpha build and are more than likely going to be coming and even updated better inside the full release of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now in terms of the sound, you guys can judge for yourself, the sound quality is very good within this game. The guns sound fantastic, the radio frequencies, everything that you do and interact with has a nice natural sound to it. Now they have done really good with the clip sounds for me personally, the smoke grenades, the attack choppers, everything feels like a Call of Duty. Okay, it sounds exactly the way it should be, especially when you pick up the tags just like I did back there. Now the story was locked out for me in the alpha, the campaign is not available unfortunately so I won't be able to discuss anything on story like I usually do for my reviews. But as I said this is a bonus little quick video for the channel and talks about the alpha gameplay review itself. And speaking of the alpha gameplay, let's talk about the guns themselves. Gunsmith does return, which was rumored to come back, and it is back in full force. And you can even customize your gun while in match. So if you don't like a specific attachment on your gun, you can switch it on the fly, which is very, very fantastic. That is a nice feature, and I love swapping around. For I was buying them off some snipers in a later match that will be shown on the video, and I swapped my guns out and was able to take them down from their hiding spot. They were camping, obviously. It's Call of Duty. Campers are going to camp, okay? But, obviously, being able to switch to that and adjust to my field of what was happening around me was very, very nice and very clean, Treyarch. Kudos to you. That was fantastic. Fantastic. So continuing talking about the guns, there is a slew of guns and there is a lot. I tell you, there is a lot to choose from right out the gate. You get about four to five per subclass, so assault rifles, submachine guns, LMGs, snipers, and pistols. You get a good variety of test out in this alpha if you were debating on downloading the alpha. It's free for this weekend for PlayStation and runs from today through Sunday. So be sure to download it and give this game a try. The Alpha honestly is very, very good. It's very clean, it's crisp, and Treyarch knows exactly what they wanted to do with this game and provide what the fans have been wanting for so long, which is a good Call of Duty game. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about how the game felt personally me playing it. So compared to the recent titles that have been coming out for Call of Duty, this honestly felt like a beat up version of 4, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 with Black Ops 1 skeleton design. It looks like they went back to their roots heavily, especially calling it Black Ops Cold War because with Black Ops 1 and 2 set around the end of Vietnam and 
the Cold War starting up, this takes a good opportunity to get back to the roots of the game that made those series, Black Ops 1 and 2, so fantastic. It is really crisp, really fluid, and honestly, this is one of the most solid alphas I have ever played on any game out of the entire existence of me playing video games. It is very, very solid. I had no connectivity issues whatsoever given the fact that probably hundreds of thousands of people are playing right now on separate sectors and it is it it, it is honestly blowing my mind a little bit how crisp and functional the game is and this is definitely something I'm going to keep an eye out on. I'm going to play more of a beta personally by myself. But this was just a little quick review so you guys know exactly what to expect with the alpha this weekend. So be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you decide on if you're going to play the alpha or not. So be sure to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date on my channel and more of my reviews just like this one. I'm going to let this clip run out and let you guys finish the match and see exactly how fluid this gameplay is and the sound design and everything else. It's about another four minutes, so be sure to enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next review. Deuces.
headshot you got. Where are you using the um the first sniper? 